Hey, I'm Andrea Myers. And uh, <laughs> my bad. I saw open mic. So um, I thought it was like a stand up open mic. But uh, who knew it was poetry? Uh, but I checked with Jan and uh, she doesn't care. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to go. Uh, so I was in Kroger the other day, as I am very frequently, and I had to pee, as I do very frequently. Uh, I went in the bathroom, and I go into the stall, and it is like a crime scene in there. I mean, it is just like the whole seat is like covered with pee. And, you know, you're thinking, well, did a guy just use this toilet? What, am I in the right bathroom? What the heck? Uh, you know, but then I have to admit... True confession, right? Full disclosure. As you get older, things start to change in your body, and I'm starting to kind of get it because I have to confess, uh, I have like completely lost the ability to put out a solid stream. You know, I'm now more akin to like a ceiling fire extinguisher sprinkler <laughs> thing. Now. You know, there's no telling where that's going. You know, but if I hit and miss, I clean it up. I clean it up. I don't leave it on the seat for some some poor sister to plop down in later in the day. No, oh, that is bad stall etiquette, ladies. Bad stall etiquette. Yeah, I don't know what my problem is. I'm hitting the vibrator too hard. <laughs> vibrator? Vibrator, anybody? Yes. Ooh, what a great thing. Oh, my gosh. I mean, yeah, girl's best friend, right? Who needs diamonds? <laughs> no. Mm-mm. I'll take a vibrator any day. No, I mean, the thing, and now some people are going, oh, she's getting dirty. No, I am, no, there is nothing dirty about a woman having an orgasm, right? No, all right, first of all, it's how we're put together. It's, it's how we were made. Secondly, there's scientific proof. Now, I know there's a lot of people not too keen on science these days, but... <laughs> Nonetheless, it's been scientifically proven that an orgasm is like so good for your brain health and your heart health. It's a great pre-sleep relaxer, but it is not an even playing field. It's not an even playing field, y'all. I mean, if you, if you look at a fifth grade class, every boy in that class knows how to relieve a little stress, right? Every boy, it's not, it doesn't take a genius. It's hanging right there, right? Every boy figured out pretty early. Oh, oh, right? All right, I've seen three-year-olds watching TV. <laughs> you know, okay. Now, some girls, of course, some girls figure it out, but you go back to that fifth grade class, and you've got some poor girl white knuckling it. I have to get a 95 tomorrow on that English class. <sighs> you know, they're sweating it out. It is not because it's a little nuanced for the girls, and a lot of them are told that is dirty. Oh, don't you go down there. That is a dirty place on you. <laughs> right? So they grow up to be women. There are a lot of women out there who never even know that they have a little magic fun button right there at their disposal anytime they want. So I say just give them a vibrator. I mean, give them, nay, issue. Every girl should just be issued. Here it is, honey. Happy birthday. It's your vibrator. <laughs> I mean, because, you know, you know how teenage girls are. It's like, he doesn't love me. Get out of my room. I hate you. Like, if mom could say, oh, honey, why don't you just take a little time with your vibrator? <laughs> you know, mom would check on her later. She, oh, all right. And I think it would take a huge bite out of the teen pregnancy problem. I mean, if, if Brittany could just say to the quarterback, no, nah, I'm good. That's all right. <laughs> Right, because what is it in high school but just pounding? It's just pounding. You know she would be like, mm, which would I rather do? <laughs> Get pounded like a cheap piece of meat for two minutes or, or take two minutes and end up writhing in orgasmic delight? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you know, that's uh, it's my opinion. It's just my opinion, but uh, I'm putting it out there. Uh, now? All right, she's giving me the... All right, I guess I've... I've gone over my time, or I've got used up my time. Okay, I got it. I have tons more material if you ever see me somewhere else. Uh, anyway, I'm Andrea Myers, and uh, thanks for being here. See ya.